Singapore has a special place in my heart. But inside this small country state, there is a tiny neighborhood not many people are familiar with that is especially unique to me. That neighborhood is Putong Pasir. So at my back, that's the icon of Putong Pasir where the triangle top in the HDB building. It's away from the downtown CBD and other populous residential areas. When I first moved to Singapore a few years back, the first two apartments that my real estate agent took me to visit was located in Putong Pasir. If you ask me if I ever experienced love at first sight, that was probably it. Although after visiting these two apartments, I also visited a few other apartments in other neighborhoods from CBD downtown all the way to the Changi airport, I knew from the beginning I would settle for the Putong Pasir one. At the time, I couldn't explain why I loved it on my first impression, but I knew as a minimalist that I didn't need many choices to make my decision and I like to simplify things. I also care about my productivity, just a few things that I always prioritize. Then I renewed the same apartment and ended up staying there for almost three years before going back to the United States. Over those years, I realized why I love this neighborhood so much. Unlike many big neighborhoods, there are not a lot of people and commercial shops in Patong Pasil. This was partially due to its political history that it was managed by the opposition party until the recent years, when the commercial shops started being set up. In fact, many of my Singaporean friends are not familiar with this neighborhood at all and know it through me. I actually didn't know about all these historical reasons before I moved in here, but coincidentally, I always love things that are less mainstream. I think maybe it's that kind of less mainstream vibes that attracts me and makes this place unique. The condo I stay at was different from most of the apartment complex, with multiple sister buildings and many units on each floor. It's a single building, small community, because I just don't enjoy sharing the same swimming pool with many other people. I guess that's what defines a minimalist. I mean, as a minimalist in people. I do like cozy and quiet community, and I always prefer a simple and calm lifestyle for my home. Because there are not a lot of people in Patong Pasir compared to other estates in Singapore, this Kalang River Trail became my favorite running trail all these years. I used to be someone who hated exercise, but because the beauty and the peace of this trail, I fallen in love with outdoor running and exercise. I usually ran along the river at noon on the weekend, and it's still quiet enough for me to reflect upon my life without many people around me. Sometimes I was even the only person on the trail. I feel extremely thankful to Patong Pasil and to this trail, which has made me a better person with healthier habits. As a minimalist, I always have the tendency to think about how to save unnecessary time spent on something that is not important to my life. So having the access to the subway trains, MRT, highways, supermarkets, and foods are very important when it comes to my house hunting. I used to live in a condo that was just one minute walk from the MRT station, and it's right at the intersection exit of two major highways in the city. In addition, it's got my go-to NTUC supermarkets and all my favorite food vendors. It just saved a lot of my time every day and makes my life very efficient. What else to ask for? So today I'm finally come back to Patong Pasir to visit my old neighborhood. And this is the mask where I used to looking at for a long time when I eat at the hawker center from this side so this is the hawker center or the coffee shop that i always come here for dinner and lunch so that's my favorite econ rice i used to dine here almost every day now i'm ordering some fish head soup which is my favorite fish head noodle soup i ordered a fish head soup this is my favorite fish head soup in Singapore. I uh, actually haven't had it for a year now and it's really great to 
come back and eat. Uh, I think they raised the price a little bit. Oh, 50 cents more because for that bao take out. This shop is called Hong Kong Street. The reason why I really like this fish head soup is it's such a strong, rich fish head soup with some alcohol taste, but not overly alcohol. So it's got a really good balance and make the fish flavor out. That's why I really like it. So got the chi chen fun from this shop. This is the shop I go to after dinner for chi chen fun. So I got three different dishes from this hawker center. My favorite hawker center or coffee shop in Singapore. It's got my favorite Chinese food, Singapore food, and some other appetizers as well. Recently, I took a Singaporean friend to visit Patong Pasir. He lives on the east side of Singapore. If you take public transportation from east coast, it's about 15 minutes to get to Patong Pasir. Driving would take about 20 minutes. He told me the people in Patong Pasir behave very differently from those in East Coast. I asked in what way. He said they are more friendly and convey a very different vibe. I guess maybe when there are less crowds around, people tend to stay more calm and true to themselves. This friend also previously lived in Dubai. And so he described Patong Pasir as the Dubai in Singapore, being very new and clean. As I was strolling around the hood, I was suddenly called out by one of my YouTube audience who recognized me on the street. He said he loved my YouTube video and the positivity on my channel that has influenced his life. I just watch your uh, channel every day. Uh, oh, uh, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> nice meeting you, Siva. Although I don't live in Patong Pasir anymore now, last month when I returned to Singapore from the US and started my house hunting process again, the first neighborhood that I look for is Patong Pasir. It's the first place that I came back for a visit after I came out of my 21-day quarantine. To me, Patong Pasir fits all the buildings of what a minimalist is looking for in an ideal home. An ideal neighborhood, simple, clean, quiet, peaceful, and less mainstream. It's a neighborhood that will always have a special place in my heart. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share my video with people who enjoy simple living. To support my channel, please join my Patreon community and the link in my description box. Come say hi to me on Instagram and podcast. Next week, I'll be sharing a very special video. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell and get notified of my uploads. See you next week. At my back, this is a new condo called Boys Residence. They just built this up right before I was leaving. So great place, very peaceful.